here today to give you an overview of the Senior Smiles program and how it's relevant to residential aged care facilities anywhere in Australia. Senior Smiles provides preventive therapies, preventive overseeing if you like, of residents' oral health care, um, assistance with their preventive care and identifies any kind of oral health referral pathways that are required. So it's unique in the fact that it puts an oral health practitioner in the facility to liaise with the facility staff, with the facility residents and in fact family members to enable a preventive focus program to be established and then to develop referral pathways for more complex dental care with private practitioners, public sector dentists who either come into the facility or, or assist the residents to go and visit them. Going forward, I'm hoping that the Senior Smiles program will be implemented in all residential aged care facilities Australia-wide to provide a preventive focus for all our residents and to develop those really important referral pathways to private practitioners and public sector dentists. That's important because currently that doesn't exist. Currently, residents in aged care facilities are treated for oral health conditions when it becomes an emergency and that's really not good enough. These people are at their most frail and vulnerable and it's important for us as health professionals to help them to care for their oral health and have somebody else care for their oral health in the facility so that ultimately they can enjoy their food, they can have a comfortable mouth, they can smile and if there are any issues that need to be addressed the Senior Smiles Referral Pathway can manage that for them. Beth Shan is a residential aged care facility. We have 100 residents. We look after low care, we look after high care folk, and we also have a dementia specific section as well. Everything is centred around what we call care plans. So we have professionals who do like physiotherapists and OTs and our general nursing staff. And we put together a care plan, an individualised care plan for everybody here in the facility. The Senior Smiles program is the first step in making sure we have good oral health care within the facility. How long have you had that there for? Uh, months. Months? Does it move around when you're eating? Yeah, it does a bit. We are employing a dental hygienist here at Beth Shan, and she's going to be developing the care plans for the residents. A dental hygienist is an allied health professional. She's going to come in and provide a dental program for each individual person, put it into the care plans, and then we'll be training our nurses and care staff to be able to deliver those care plans in accordance with what the dental hygienist requires to deliver. So it'll be a great outcome. Is that corned beef? Yes. Silver side. Oh, silver yeah, side. Silver side. Oh. I had trouble with one of my teeth. I was, yeah. had a cutlet and I was biting the meat off the bone Truly. and I broke it and it cost me $450 to wow. get a new tooth built. Yes. And then I bit an apple and the other side came out. Wow. So yeah. I've got half a tooth missing now. Wow. With the Senior Smiles program, we're going to be expanding it out into a dental surgery here on site. And so rather than the resident having to go to a dentist, we're actually going to be providing the care here, which is extremely important because mobility is an issue for aged care. It's not easy to move people around. If we can bring the dental program here on site, then it's a win-win for everybody. It's been long held that oral health is a neglected area when people go into facilities. Staff are very busy providing the care that residents need, their day-to-day -day living needs, and oral health tends to get put on the back burner. When they come into the facility, they may well have unresolved dental decay, they may have gum problems, so periodontal disease, and we identify those and we certainly get them the best care that suits their needs. We also can prioritise, so if their oral health care need can wait, then we can organise for treatment to be done at the facility. If they're in an acute situation, we can advocate for them to access care very quickly. So by having an oral health practitioner in the facility that they get used to, that negotiates with them and they start to trust, we certainly have all bases covered. 
The Senior Smiles program developed from the University of Newcastle. We've had students in residential aged care facilities since 2009 and they go in on a student placement program for a semester. Um, they learn about oral health and how to provide education for residents and also um, for the staff. As a result of the student placement program, the University of Newcastle has a lot of published research. And what we found from that research is that oral health often was overlooked. In addition to that, that the staff were really not confident to provide oral health care to residents and in fact don't really know what they're looking at in the mouth. And so they were very happy to have the students there in the facilities and to help them. Senior Smiles is important for students because it is offering them that experiential learning. They're coming to a facility and liaising with administrators, care staff, residents. It gives them a very good scope of being able to practice their skills in preventive care. Come in. Hello, Barbara. Hello. Hi, my name's Joanna. And this is Linda. Hi Barbara, Hello. how are you today? I'm on well, nice thanks. to see you. Thank you. Um, so I'm a dental hygienist yes. and I'm just here to visiting residents to see how their teeth are going. So what happens with the Senior Smile Risk Assessment and Care Plan is that the oral health practitioner comes in to see the resident, usually in their room, so that they've got some privacy. They'll ask them a few questions about their oral health, look at whether they've got their own teeth and a denture, and talk to them about whether they have a dry mouth or any sore spots, or just generally ask them questions about their oral health. I was wondering if you've got any worries at all with your teeth? The main concern is with my rebuilt front tooth. Yes. Do you get very sensitive teeth? Um, yes, I do from time to time. Yep, okay. They then go through a list of check-offs that just detail whether they've got natural teeth, a denture, whether they have a dry mouth. Do you feel like you get much of a dry mouth there at all, Barbara? Yes, I do. Yes. From time to time. Yeah. Particularly of the night time, I think that I'm quite possibly sleeping with my mouth yes. open. Yeah, a lot of us do. <laughs> do you take anything to relieve the dry mouth? I just drink, drink some, some water. water. Yep. Once they've done that, then they usually go into the bathroom with the resident, get the resident to show them how they actually brush their teeth and dentures so that they can see what technique they've got and then maybe assist them with improving that technique. So what are you using to clean your denture at the moment? I'm using um, toothpaste. Yeah. With denture care, it's actually much better if you, for the dentures if you can just use uh, just soap and water. Because okay. the toothpaste does tend to scratch the dentures a little. Okay. Just make sure you give them a really good rinse after. Yeah. Once they've done that, what they do is talk to the rest of the care staff and maybe detail that there are some things that that resident might not be doing that they could do that would improve their oral health comfort um, and they can detail that, that technique or that product with the nursing staff at the facility. We've had a look at Barbara today, so I'll just go through what we found when we did her oral health assessment. When we looked at her dentures and how she was brushing them, she was actually brushing both dentures at once and she was actually using toothpaste to brush dentures. We told her that toothpaste is not the best thing for brushing your dentures and she said that previously she had used soap and a nail brush, so she's actually going shopping I think next week and she said she's going to get a nail brush and soap to do those. Other than that, basically Barbara's doing really well. To understand the needs of a resident, you've got to look at the resident as a whole. A resident, it's more than just a dietary requirement, it's more than just looking after somebody's specific medical needs. Oral health is an extremely important component to someone's overall well-being. If you don't have a, a, an effective and a good dental oral hygiene program within the facility, you're not going to be able to provide the care that I think is necessary for an aged care facility going forward. It's, um, it's like having a, uh, you need a doctor, you need a dental hygienist as well to provide the proper care.
Senior Smiles is a proven model and what we'd like to see moving forward is that the program's implemented into all residential aged care facilities across Australia.